Hi, I'm Ed Zayak, and I'm back down here in South Texas for another season of In the Hunt. So I was here at the very first weekend of the season. Everything was green. We had a lot of rain, plenty of food for the deer to eat everywhere. I returned the last week of the season, and this is what it's supposed to look like. Everything is dry. Everything is crunchy. It's cool weather. It feels more like, it feels more like hunting weather. That's it cool off a little bit. So Josh had showed me a bunch of pics um, of some really nice deer, and I was very, very excited. So we get in the stand. It's a little bit of a slow morning. First thing in the morning, there's really nothing there. doe shows up it's looking real quiet and it's getting a little bit later a little bit later and we have a buck show up all right you know you're getting excited your blood's pumping a little bit more than another buck and gets a little bit later and here comes our bucks kind of slinking in from behind the feeder my heart was really pumping it was a really nice looking deer and I was excited when Josh said, okay, here's our guy. This is, this is one of the bucks we've been looking for. Yeah, shoot him. So there was a lot of deer together in line with one another moving around. So we, we had to wait and, and uh, pick our opportunity there and take a shot. One of the bucks moved back in the brush, our buck moved up to the edge of the brush, and it was my chance to take the shot. Save that shot. I got him, you good. Nice. Nice. As soon as I shot, he hits the brush. We see a deer kind of run off to the back of the of the clearing there. Not sure if that was my buck. We assumed it was. We had forgotten our, the other buck had nice buck. bumped in ahead of him. So we wait, we go down, look, no blood. No blood, did a quick little search, no blood. Now I'm nervous. I was confident I made a good shot, but now I'm second guessing everything. We decide to back out, give it a second, and not pressure him, come back in a little while. We went home, looked at the footage. It was a good shot. It was a little bit forward, but still a really good shot. So we had breakfast and just gave it a little bit of time. So, um, really nice buck came in. My shot was a little bit forward. And so then we went back, watched it on the video, saw exactly where the bullet hit. Now we're back. It's been about an hour and a half or so. We're gonna see if we can find them. And we have more eyeballs too, so we're gonna look around and see if we can find some blood. So, so we head back out, start the search, and this deer didn't go 20 or 30 feet. It was right there. When, we, when Josh and I originally looked, we had to be within 10 feet of this deer. But it is so thick and everything blends in, we never did see it. Yep. Right here. Got him. Right. What? Not a drop of blood. Are you kidding me? He's right there. He's right here. Well, that's definitely it. What? <laughs> here, you that. I'll get rid of it. Thank you, sir. Congratulations. Thank you. Oh my God. I can't believe he's right here. But that didn't even look like that happened on, on the footage. Oh my God, look at this buck. Wow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it 
it was a great shot. The deer went about 30 feet, done, and I recovered the biggest buck that I've ever shot on the ranch, so I'm super excited. This deer, I kind of made a bad shot. It was a little bit forward, and it didn't drop instantly, which is what we really like to try to do here. You can see how thick this is. But we went back, we looked at all the footage, saw exactly where the shot hit, came back, and he really only went about 20 feet, but it's so thick we just couldn't find him. So shot placement is critical, and I learned a couple good lessons on this deer, and I'm super excited. This is the biggest buck I've shot out here. It's really beautiful deer. I was lucky this year. I was able to come the first week and the last week of the season, and I like coming early. I get to put in a ton of work on the ranch and feel like I have some sweat equity and everything, and then I get to watch how the season plays out and hear all the reports and see the picks. And I was fortunate this year in that I got to come back for the last week. So, you know, thank you, Jamie. Thank you, Josh. Uh, another great season here at the ranch. I can't thank you guys enough.